Well, hey there, and welcome to another one of my cheesy YouTube videos. My channel is called Aimless because I'm pretty much heading one direction doing how-to videos, but every now and then I'll change direction and do a motorcycle trip, and yet change another direction like I'm doing today, doing a video on Fiesta Wear Dinnerware. Say what? Now, why on earth would I do that? Well, a couple years back, my mom said, Kevin, I'd like for you to have my Fiesta Wear dinner plates. They were my grandmother's. So when mom passed away, I said, told my sister, will you send me them Fiesta Wear dishes mom wanted me to have? Even though I really had no interest in what I thought were Mexican dishes. <laughs> you know, this is what you find at a Mexican restaurant usually. But anyways, we got them home and my wife and I started looking at them and figuring, okay, well, my mom said that they're originally her mother's dishes. So we started to think that they were probably pre-World War II. And there's a couple of reasons why we thought that. First off is because they seem to be the original colors, which are yellow, red, turquoise, yet though turquoise, the regular dishes came out in 1936, Six turquoise came out in 1937, so it is, but it isn't one of the original colors. Ivory, cobalt, and green. So it was a red plate that make us, made us think that possibly it was pre World War II. The reason being is they got the coloring from uranium and during World War II the federal government took the company's supply of uranium to make bombs. So that made us think that these are quite possibly pre-World War II. The next thing we did is we looked at the the logos on the back. Older Fiesta Wear has small caps. Everything's done in small caps for the name Fiesta. Which, which these are. So that was yet another reason. And since the federal government took away, took away the uranium, the reds weren't produced during World War II. But they did start production after World War II, and they used the uranium to make the red up until 1972. In 1871, Homer and Shakespeare Laughlin created a pottery company along the Ohio River in East Liverpool, Ohio. In 1876, Shakespeare left the company and went off to do his own thing, and Homer Laughlin China Works was created. In 1897, Homer sold his business to his two business partners, and one of them partners and his family kept the business for many, many years after that. In 1907, Homer Laughlin Company moved across the Ohio River to Newell, West Virginia. And Homer Laughlin, throughout this period, was one of the largest pottery, dinnerware, and toiletware makers in the United States. The brand Fiesta Wear came about in 1936, and that was because they wanted to create a dinner set that was affordable for people during the Depression era. It was also fashioned after the Art Deco era at the time. These are the dishes I got from my mother. The rest of the dishes on the table I got at auction. My wife wanted to build on the set since we got it and we went to an auction and we bought just about all the Fiesta where we could get. In the 50s, they went to a more pastel colors, and that very well may be what this is. This green has got that flatter, and so is this orange, more of a pastel look to it. And in the early 60s, they went back to the brighter colors. They went back to brighter colors. I won't say to the brighter colors, because they changed colors throughout the years. And they say in the late 60s, they went to earth tone, earth tone colors, but they were short-lived. In 1972, um, Homer Laughlin Company stopped making Fiesta Wear altogether. 
But in 1986, Bloomingdale's convinced Homer Laughlin Company to start creating Fiesta Ware again, which they did. So there are some differences throughout the years. There's a total of 47 colors throughout all the manufacturing of Fiesta Ware. But like I said, these are the original colors. This color of green is different than this bulb. This is a brighter, shinier green, and I believe, I won't swear to it, because these colors are so close to each other, but I believe this is called a medium green, which is the rarest color that Fiesta Ware made. So how do you tell if your Fiesta Ware is old or new? The markings on the back. If you look at more modern Fiesta Ware, it's, it says, Homer Laughlin China Company in the arch. And that's a sign of it being fairly new. In 1992, they started putting a date code on it. The first two digits are the year. They help you read the, there are charts on the internet to help you read the date code. And the third digit is a quarter of the year that the, this dish was made. Also in 1992, they started putting lead free on the stamp. In 1986, they made the F more curved and more loopy, which made it look more like a uppercase F, which it probably was because uh, the rest of Fiesta is all uppercase as compared to the older dishes. So, and on some of them, there's an H stamped in there, and that's 1992 or newer also, if I believe. So that's one way to tell. A lot of Fiesta Ware doesn't have stamps. It's molded into the product. And that's the way this face is. That doesn't mean this is older than the stamps. It's just different ways they did things. And Fiesta Homer Laughlin Company mixed and matched how they did their, their stamps or their molding. And there was, there's no exact science to finding out how old something is. And some of my dishes that I bought at the auction aren't marked at all. And they said that can be normal also. And there's certain dishes that are never marked, such as salt and pepper shakers and certain cups and stuff. These cups, I don't see any markings on them. Those cups over there had the mold. What I've read a lot about on the internet was, Fiesta Ware is radioactive. Ah, it's radioactive. So I'm like, is it really radioactive? And if it is radioactive, just how radioactive it is. Because my grandmother lived to be 92. I'm assuming my mom was probably raised on these dishes. She lived to be 88. So I took, the, I took this red plate to my metal yard, my local scrap yard. And I, sorry for the video I'm about to show you. It wasn't planned as let's make this a YouTube video. It's like, I had a bunch of steel to take to a scrap yard. I told my wife, hey, you wanna come with? Take it one of them Fiesta Wars. Let's see if it's really radioactive. So they took it and they put a Geiger counter on there which measures radiation. And this is what we got. All right. Bad ass, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna sit on and see if they make me stir. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for watching my yet another cheesy YouTube video. And remember, if you love life and learning new things, go aimless.com. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.